My name is Michael Gormley. I am the principal of Sacred Heart College. We put great uh, emphasis on extracurricular activities because we know how close the, that is linked to ch students' achievement in the classroom. Extracurricular activities on offer in Sacred Heart College include the music department's offer of traditional music and the choir, our drama club, art and athletics. We have a program which is second to none. This year, one of our past pupils actually represented Ireland in the Olympics. Our students get the opportunity to play soccer, basketball, netball. But one of our greatest strengths, and one that we probably are most proud of, is our GAA and our Gaelic game. A lot of our staff come from the local Gaelic athletic clubs, and a lot of our pupils come from these local clubs as well. In reality, our football fields are a extension to the classroom because we recognize and value the connection that there is between the classroom and the sports field. On the field the coaches are our teachers and in the classroom our teachers are our coaches and the two work together in synergy that the students will achieve their best. This video will show you what we have to offer with regards to extracurricular sport and in GAA games in particular. My name is Mr Devine and I help to coordinate Gaelic Games here at Sacred Heart College and link in with Ulster Schools and the Ulster Ladies G as well. Firstly, I'd like to introduce Mrs Dunahy. Mrs Dunahy is a past pupil. She's also a former All-Ireland Netball winner with the school. As head of Year 8, I understand the importance of Gaelic Games and how it helps our pupils transition from primary to post-primary. Uh, not only does it help people's physical and mental health, it also helps them develop skills such as communication, teamwork, commitment and hard work. My name is Mark McGill and I am the former head boy at Sacred Heart College. During my time at Sacred Heart College, Gaelic football was a huge part of my experience. I was lucky enough to captain the Nagel Cup team in 2017 to an Ulster title. Recently, I was part of the successful Drumore team that won the Throne County Championship for the first time in 10 years. At the end of the year, I was lucky enough to be awarded with an All-Star. Sacred Heart laid the foundations for me in my footballing career that helped me to where I am today. Next up for us is Mrs McInnenly. Mrs McInnenly is a household name in Ulster GA circles. She's a former Ulster Player of the Year in Camogie and also an All-Star winner. And it's great that this year now we have a Key Stage 3 Camogie team. Obviously coming from a Camogie background, having played it most of my life, um, I was very keen to get Camogie started in Sacred Heart College. Um, the school have been um, exceptionally supportive, you know, of James and myself um, to get Camogie started in school and we're very grateful for the local clubs who have supported us um, and letting us lend equipment. So the girls have been very keen and very eager, which we were delighted to see and they're really looking forward to getting some competitive action in the next few months and into the early spring. Within the GAA, it's great to have so much diversity and inclusion and in our school, we're very fortunate that we have pupils from all over the world. I love my school and I love to play with my friends in the school. I love to play in Irish Gaelic, Irish Gaelic sport. I like to play in my school and I love to play with my friends. I love to play with my friends in Gaelic. Now we have our head of P, Mrs Grimley. Mrs Grimley is a former pupil of the school and she oversees the Gaelic coaching of ladies football within Sacred Heart College. The girls football in Sacred Heart College has really taken off over the last couple of years. We have won the Under 16 Shield in Ulster. This year, a group of girls um, have been doing so well and we've won three out of three so far. So we're moving and progressing on to the next stage of the cup. As you see behind us, we have a whole group of girls from various clubs throughout the county. I have got plenty of help, so I have got a past pupil, a former player, as in Gorton's Brona Mossy. And as well as that, we have Eamon McMahon who is my main man when it comes to training the girls. So yeah, we look forward to January and what lies ahead for the girls in the under 16. Now we have Mr Nugent. Mr Nugent is our ma man and one of the things that uh, struck him when he joined the school was the passion that the kids have for Gaelic games. And he had to admit reluctantly, is it any wonder that throwing teams are so successful at underage and of course at senior level. Our local clubs are the heartbeat of GAA and Sacred Heart College. The work our clubs put into our young players is immense. 
At last count, we have over 12 clubs represented in our under 16 and a half panel. Our job in Secret Heart is similar to that of underage county and development squads. We prioritise integrating players from different clubs, developing their tactical awareness and continually improving their skill in the game. Mr Dehan is our Senko here at Sacred Heart College. He is a dairy man, we'll not hold against him, but fortunately for us, he is an All-Ireland fail one in manager with Eglish, a good Toronto team. On behalf of the under 14 and a half management team, firstly, I would like to say that it's great to see the boys back on the pitch, uh, back training, back playing. Due to COVID, some of these lads have not had the experience of playing for their school or representing their school. We have a dedicated bunch of lads, a panel of 30. Um, we have a fantastic representation of all clubs, which is very, very important. We also have uh, pupils from non-Gaelic backgrounds also involved with the uh, under 14 and a half team. It's great to see the boys enjoy football. We are very focused on these lads fulfilling their potential for the future and maybe reaching the peaks that some of these lads have done in the past. Mr McKenna is our head of Key Stage 4. He's a former Throne player and he's very active at the promotion of Gaelic games here at Sacred Heart College. We are indebted to our sponsors for continuously contributing towards our college kits. Uh, a massive thank you on behalf of all our college community. Very fortunate in our position here in West Throne to have so many clubs which are providing support to our college. We currently have over 18 clubs from Throne and Fermanagh who are out playing within our boys and girls teams. Mr Kerr is one of our longest serving members in the school. Um, I know you, when you see him you probably think that he's uh, much older than this, but he actually joined the school at the formation of Sacred Heart back in 2000 to 2001. So he's there from the beginning of Sacred Heart College. For us as coaches, it's always great to see our players make their own path in life. And the skills and experiences that they gain by part of a school team stand to them not just in their sporting lives, but in their future careers. It's always great to meet up with past players, whether it be at a club game or Croke Park, or even at their own place of work. That bond never breaks, and that's something very, very special. We hope you have enjoyed our little snapshot of what life is like here at Sacred Heart College. We look forward to hopefully seeing you become a part of our team in the future.